Paul from the Studio Rats. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the tricks you can use with the Boss Katana to get the best sort of sounds out of it. Now, for me, I don't like the crunch channel that's in the Boss Katana, so I tend to use the clean channel and add some boost pedals to that just to crunch it up a bit. But there's also a couple of other things that you can do to really make the Katana sound great. So let's get to it. If you like what we do, it would really help us if you liked and subscribed. And don't forget to click on that little bell button down there and you'll be notified of any future videos that come out from the Studio Rats. So let me compare the two sort of sounds. So if I take off the boost pedal here and I switch it onto the crunch setting, here is the sound of the crunch channel. <laughs> Now to me, it sounds a bit fizzy, a little bit too trebly. Now you can change that with the EQ, but I find the clean channel is a much nicer sounding channel. So now I haven't touched the EQ, I'm gonna use the clean channel and switch on the booster. Yeah, so not only to me does that sound more amp-like, it's a lot smoother, but there's one more setting that I've done which makes sure that you improve the tone. So if I click over to my mod setting here, you can see I've got a compressor inside the mod slot. So if I turn off that compressor, now if I switch on the compressor, You can see it fattens up the sound and it smooths out the sound. Now to me, one of the hidden gems inside the Katana is running the boost pedal into the compressor. Now there's a couple of things we need to make sure that we do, which is gain staging. Now what we need to do is to make sure the volume that's going into the overdrive is the same as when the overdrive is switched on. And also when the overdrive is switched on, we wanna make sure it's more or less the same volume that's then going into the compressor, as we don't want to unnaturally distort anything in the chain. So let's go back to the booster pedal here. Now, if I turn off the booster pedal, you'll see it's more or less the same sort of volume. Now, if I switch on the compressor, all the volumes are matched. Now, if I go back to my booster pedal and I turn up the volume, it starts to get all harsh again. So you need to make sure that that is matched into each pedal. So if you haven't liked and subscribed already, it would really help us if you liked and subscribed and click on that little bell button and you'll be notified of any future videos that come out from the Studio Rats. I'm Paul from the Studio Rats and I'll see you next time. Cheers.